Good day, good day. So today we're on the Mini Clubman 1.6 petrol, uh, doing the the cat on it and the oil filter housing casket as that's leaking as well. So yeah, let's switch around and let's get started. So first things first, on the top of the grill here, you'll find these clips here. You'll see them flush in, just get a fork or a flat screwdriver, just pop these ends out here. There's four across here. Pop them out there. And this bottom grill, what goes in there like that, just put your fingers underneath, lift up. So you wanna lift it up and pull, and it will unclip. You see the clips there? There's one there, zoom in. Now along, that will unclip and pull away. Now all you want to do is push these through as you're pulling the grill. And it will look should it all come off. So that's the grill off. Right, see these clips here. They tuck in these little sliders here. So yeah, we have done that, pull the grill forward and you'll be able to see the clips pull through. Just try and push them down with your fingers and pull the grill forward and it will pop your grill off. So that's your grill off. Next, we'll take this top frame off here. So to take this top off, we want to undo these 13 mil bolts here, 10 mil bolts here holding your headlights in, T30s here and here, 10 mil there, 10 mil holding your headlight, 13 mils here. Undo that. The cable to your latches as well will be on here. So you need to disconnect that as well. Then this should completely, well, should remove completely. So that's that off. End up having to undo the bolt here for the headlight. Just loosen this one off here. Undo, just undo that headlight just to give me a bit of play, just to get the front bracket off. The cable what runs through it, just as a cover on, just pop the cover off. And the ball hooks in like that, just unhook it. And that will thread through the old in it so there we go that's gave us some room to play so yeah if i wanted more room i could just take the bumper off and strip all this front end completely off but i'm trying to do less work as possible so next thing is we'll take this cover off here these are 10 mils you got three at the top here one there one at the front there and one down here so once you've got this cover off here, you need to disconnect your bank one and bank two sensor for your exhaust. There we are. The blue one, just push the red clip down and it will fray it off. Same with the black. Then we need to take this front cover off after. So you've got a 10mm down here, 10mm just down here. You can see them anyway and two 10 mils at the bottom then this cover will come free then we'll have to crack open this bank one sensor here and remove that out of the way so that's the one plug like i say the blue one you just lift that up and it pops off this black one is clipped in there you just squeeze that clip there and it pops off and you see the fork just pull it away and this black pops off all you want to do tuck them out of the way and that's bank two sensor down there disconnected and bank one sensor here disconnected so once you crack open these bolts i took bank two sensor out 
22mm spanner just cracked it open unwinded it with my fingers just make sure your wires don't get tangled make sure your wires, wires turn as you're turning the bank 2 sensor right I've undone this plate here there's four bolts on this side you can get to one without taking the front end off I've just used 10mm on long bar we have a ratchet get your hands in just and crack them all open so there's four on this side what a pain in the ass but yeah so now I can get to this bank one sensor I'm just going to crack it open 22mm spanner so once you took this cover off here it will squeeze out the top with a bit of wiggling and I'm undo all these 11 mil bolts now or nuts undo all of them crack open all of them then we'll go to the bottom and release the bottom so once you've done them million and one 11 mil bolts at the top all mine are off you want to come to the bottom you want to release this clamp here and you've got two 13 mil bolts either side of the cat undo them I should be free to pull it off so once you undo all them bolts at the bottom it should be all free and loose so hopefully you might be able to get it out the top a few wiggles and wobbles so yeah let's get it out so there we go got it out the bottom yeah a lot easier to get it out the bottom the gasket that is the gasket manifold gasket so yeah when you're doing this order yourself a new gasket i think i'll pay 30 quid from your car parts for one that comes out the top the cap goes out the bottom as you can see the oil leak there that's from uh, filter housing leaking so yeah i have got the new gasket for that so yeah I've come up with a code, I will put it up on the screen what code I come up with to say my cat's gone uh, or blocked. I did try running some cleaning stuff through and uh, it worked for about a thousand miles then it's come back up on it through a um, bank one sensor I replaced the front sensor, oh the first sensor then it come back up cat again so yeah it do about 60 to 100 miles every time I cleared it and it come back on so yeah I tried cleaning it and that didn't work so I just brought a new cat and for what I'm doing the cat I'll do this gasket as here as well because all this has got to come off to do this gasket anyway so yeah do it all in one I was putting this off doing this because I know all this had to come off and because this cat's gone I might as well do the gasket as well so yeah Let's pull this out. There we go. That's all it is. So if you're just doing the cap, you need to do the cap and the gasket for it to do this job. So yeah, there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give it all a good clean up. Then I'm gonna undo this oil filter here. Just crack it open and let the oil drain through back into the sun put a bucket or something underneath to catch any oil what's gonna I'm gonna lose and just crack these I think they're 10 mil let's check no RDL 8 mil crack these 8 mil bolts off and replace the gaskets on this so there we go it's off right when you're doing this job you're gonna need a gasket set a new oil filter and new oil as you can see here your water channel is here and your oil channel so your water will drip down if you start losing water right at your bottom and you can't work out where it's going don't assume it's straight air gasket see if you got a leak coming from the front of your engine if so it's normally I say this you got a leak from the front of the engine it's normally this what's gone on leaking down could leak down into your oil as well through your thing so 
don't think the worst straight away air gasket always check to see if this is leaking first so yeah here's the gaskets I need to replace uh, I had a leak coming from here and my water as well these gaskets are shot well old uh, done about under 40,000 on them what and it's a 2008 plate so yeah I'll give this a good clean up put the new gaskets back on give this a little good clean bolt it back on so then we'll soon that's done we'll build everything back up put the new cat on and uh, do everything make sure it's all back together then I'll drop the oil put fresh oil in no antifreeze and we're done but like I say we only watched up to this bit it is pretty simple really a few hours work there like I say when you do this you're gonna have to order a new filter new gaskets and new oil because the water will drip out of here and go into the oil so yeah there we go let's get the new gaskets on so the gasket's set that's where I got it from, New Brothers Car Parts Oil for Veil that housing gasket kit So that's it there That's the number And I got the filter from there as well The kit I brought a Phoebe And it's a bit risky I think I paid 140 for it So yeah, still gotta get that out of the box and have a look first Then I've stripped it all So yeah, let's get this done Get the gaskets back on here and get it back on. So, that's the new gaskets fitted, that's all tightened back up on then, nice and tight. So what I'm going to do in there, make sure it's nice and clean, clean it all up. Put the antifreeze up. Put the other foot back in, put the cap on, then we'll start the cap. So here's the new one. A little bit dented there. Oh, that not too bad. Fucking welding is shocking. All splats and splares. More than that. Don't look too bad. So, yeah. This comes with all new nuts. Uh, Here's my new gasket. I got a new clamp as well for underneath. Uh, gasket and clamp has come from Yora Car Parts, and this was off eBay, as you can tell. Along it all bolts up, and I have no leaks. I have brought exhaust paste as well, just sticking here, just to make sure it seals nice and tight. So yeah. So I'll peel all this sticker off so it don't burn off when it gets up. Then we'll slide this up from the bottom, put the new gasket on, put it on and get it all bolted up. So, firstly back together, manifold's all tightened up. Uh, all I've done is put the bank one and bank two sensor in, plug them in and kicked it all up. Make sure I've got no leaks on the exhaust. I'm not leaking from here, but I am leaking at the bottom. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to undo that bracket, put some exhaust, uh, gum gum, whatever, some filler in it. Uh, it's what you get when you buy cheap, some knocked off stuff off eBay. So, yeah, I just have to fill that, all weld it. It's only a slight little blow, but it's a blow. So, yeah, need to sort that out at the bottom. But I just wanted to plug everything, make sure the manifold weren't leaking. And it was blowing nicely. So yeah, all seems to be fine. Don't seem to have any leaks from my oil, well, oil filter has in. That's all good. So yeah, that's all that. Uh, these bolts here are a pain. Get a socket in. So yeah. You can do it, just get a spanner. It's just little turns out each time. So make sure they're nice and tight. All I've got to do now is put the arse in back. Well, take this bank one sensor back off, 
put this uh, same back up. I put that back on and just rebuild this front end back up. It's just the reverse of taking it apart. So there we go. I'll leave it there for today. Hope this has helped you out. Uh, yeah, as soon as you stripped it, it's just putting it back. It's just how you took it apart. Pretty simple, really. So, all we're going to do now is finish putting everything back together, clear that fault code. Fingers crossed, in 60 to 100 miles, it does not come back on. Shouldn't do. Uh, yeah, just make sure you've got no leaks from the manifold or the uh, oil filter that's in before you start putting everything back on. So, the last thing you want to do is build it all back up to realise your manifold's leaking or one of them gaskets is leaking and it's completely stripped back down so yeah this is why i've done it right like this just put bang there bang one and bang two sensor back in plugged it in kicked it up let it run for 10 minutes before i even start building anything else back up so yeah there we go anyway if this is out don't forget to subscribe hit that like button see you next time stay safe